Pathophysiology Panorama is a direct result of all the pathology courses that medical imaging students have to take in their certificate or associate degree program. And we have students in radiography, diagnostic medical sonography, and nuclear medicine. This is a major project that takes the whole course. They write an eight-page research paper on the topic of their choice in pathology using medical imaging to diagnose or treat the disease. My presentation on Paget's disease. It's the second most common bone disease next to osteoporosis. It can affect anybody and any part or whole of a bone in the entire body. It's more gender specific towards men, but it can happen in anybody. It's mostly diagnosed incidentally on x-rays due to other uh, pathophysiology issues. Um, what ends up happening is usually a patient breaks a bone and they go in and lo and behold on the radiographs they will find that they have the disease. Um, usually taken care of simply by maintenance of treatments with calcitonin, which is a uh, medication that will slow down the destruction of new bone being formed. And that's what ends up happening in pagetic patients. They end up having uh, too quickly of destruction of bone before it has a chance to calcify, therefore giving the bones more chance to break. Well, the disease I chose to do today was neurofibromatosis type 1 or NF1 and it's a neoplastic disease or a tumor disease that affects the nerves in the body. Um, basically it's an autosomal dominant disease. Um, that means that if your parent has it, there's a 50-50% chance that a child will have it, but it also can occur spontaneously. And unfortunately there's no cure for the disease. Um, it can be diagnosed um, via genetic testing or you can use plain radiography computer tomography, magnetic resonance imaging, or other imaging modalities such as ultrasound or angiograms to diagnose the disease. Uh, the exciting thing about the pathophysiology panorama is the students take what they learned outside of the classroom and bring it to the public or to other classmates, uh, other courses, uh, and share it with the public, what they have learned. Sometimes students pick topics of diseases that they have themselves and they do more searching uh, about the topic, or they uh, are become a family expert because a family member has had you know, the disease, or they might see an interesting case uh, in their clinical education and explore it more. For more information about COD's health programs, visit us on the web at cod.edu. For more information about COD's health programs, visit us on the web at cod.edu.